scale that could change the course of the midterm elections. An Al Jazeera American investigation has uncovered a possible anti-voter fraud campaign launched by 27 state officials, mostly Republican. They may be using a computer matching naming system that targets common black, Hispanic, and Asian American names. Investigative reporter Greg Palace brought it to light. Here's the type of matching that they do. Vincent Hardy Williams voted in Georgia. Vincent H. Williams voted in Virginia. Okay. So they said that that's the same guy. And how do they know that that's the same person? And I sit as the minority leader of the House of Representatives. This information has never been presented to the House of Representatives. I think it's completely unreasonable. Joining me right now is Al Jazeera investigative reporter Greg Palace, who's on Skype via New York, and also on the panel, Angela Rye, principal and CEO of Impact <laughs> Strategies, Robert Trainum, MSNBC political strategist, and Kim Brown, host of the Kim Brown Radio Show. Greg, uh, so walk us through this. Uh, how are, are they kicking names out? Are they uh, not allowing them to vote? Exactly how is this working? They're not giving us the full story. In fact, we had to, uh, we challenged the 27 states to give us their list. If you vote twice in the same election, two different states, you committed a felony crime. They say that 7 million Americans have committed this crime, half a million of them in the state of Georgia. They Finally, I got three states to relent under legal threat to give us the list. For example, in Georgia, I'm looking at uh, this, by the way, is a typical list. And if you look at the names I'm showing you, there's uh, Billy Ray Jackson voted in Georgia, and they're saying that that's the same guy who voted in Virginia named Billy Manuel Jackson Jr. in Virginia. They're saying that those two people with different middle names, one's a junior, one's not, are the same person committing a felony crime. They're both subject to losing their vote. In Virginia alone, as of last year, they've already knocked off 40 1,000 voters on this accusation. And, well, but, but Greg, and it, hundreds it, of thousands more are, are targeted. Greg, it's as if they don't understand that you can you can be Roland Martin in one state and there could be a Roland Martin in another state. Uh, there is, by the way. <laughs> I mean, hell, I mean, you can type it in Facebook and come up with more than one person with the same name. And here's the trick. For example, yeah, you're right. John Jackson, there are 86,020 John Jacksons in the United States on this list. Nearly 2 million of the names have mismatches of middle names. There are thousands and tens of thousands of people mismatched as junior and senior. Father and son are listed as the same person. I went to North Carolina and said, have you, have you arrested anyone? And the state hired an FBI agent to arrest these double voters, they have 190,000 people that they're beginning to remove from the voter roll. I said, well, it's a crime. Why don't you arrest them? And they said, well, that's not so easy. I said, you have their names, addresses, social security numbers, phone numbers, signatures. How difficult is it, is it to find these double voters? The answer is, it's just people who have the same name. And here's the real trick. It's not random. We analyze the list with experts. We have the names. An artifact of slavery is that African Americans are 80% more likely to have a common name than white Americans. So what you're doing is you're picking up black Americans, you're picking up names like David Lee, thousands, thousands of David Lees. They're not all one voter. Those are uh, Chinese Americans, Asian Americans, Rodriguez, Hispanic Americans. You know how many people are named Jorge Rodriguez? And so what we have is a common name hunt and they know that this is going to knock off hundreds of thousands of African Americans, Asian Americans, and Hispanics. They know that they're already starting the purge of tens of thousands of people. It's really going to hit in 2016, and it's going to be heavily, heavily uh, cutting into the uh, to the minority vote. I want to go to my panel here. This is this is what I talked about before about sophisticated voter suppression. To just simply remove folks without any pretense, without any reason, by saying, oh, well, Matthew is this from another state, surely must be the same person. It's, it's crazy. And it's a classic form of purging the roles. And I think what makes this all the more egregious, Roland, is we know that just last summer, the Supreme Court came out with this ruling that essentially gutted Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act. 
because they, they removed Section 4. Section 4 is no longer constitutional. The formula of Section 4 is no longer constitutional. So you have all of these practices now and the people behind them who are emboldened. We've seen this from all of the voter ID laws and the other suppressive tactics that have been used just before this election. There are literally cases still before courts, and election day is on Tuesday. It's, it's horrible. Jose Rodriguez and John Brown are the two most common names in the ethnic minority uh, population. Jose Rodriguez is the most common name in Latino uh, circles, and John Brown is in African American circles. What's very simple here is that all we need is just a valid photo ID. You need a valid photo ID to purchase alcohol. You need a valid photo ID to get on an airplane or even on a bus. In every single state in this union, a valid photo ID is free. There is no cost whatsoever for Where? that. That's not Where? True. That's true. In every single state, a valid photo ID is free. Like if, what? If, if, you go, if you go to state gov, if in fact you per, put, and I did this last night, so please do this. If you go to every single state, photo ID is free. A driver's license or something like that you have to pay for, but a valid photo ID is free. My point is no, 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 hold on, hold on. But here, no, 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 this is about scrubbing people. This is nothing to do with so, ID. This is about taking so out point. common names. This is about taking out common names. And by the way, write in uh, John Brown. Go to the Al Jazeera site. Write in your name if you have a common name and find out whether you are on the million names the one million names we have from Georgia and Virginia, you will probably find your name right there. You'll, if you're Jorge Rodriguez, you're going to find that you are a what they call a suspected duplicate voter, and you stand to lose your right. And that to type play. of behavior is despicable, and it should not be, and it should not stand in America. Every but it is person. happening right now in so America, question, and it's been going back at least two election point. cycles. Please. No, please go ahead. In 2012, in the state of Florida, Governor Rick Scott there found 186,000 people on the voter rolls that he attempted to purge. Right. This past April, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals in Atlanta ruled that that practice was illegal. So out of 186,000 people identified on the Florida rolls, they only found 85 people who were actually non-citizens. And when we harken back to the 2012 uh, Republican um, sort of rallying cry about we want our country back, this is exactly what they mean. They want our country, they want their country back, so to speak, to make sure that people of color's voices are precluded from the polls, and this behavior has been not only increasing, but as you said, it's disgusting. One, talk, one second, Raleigh, we want you to finish your point when we come back. Uh, you can see your na if your name is on that list and read Greg's story at, at uh, um, uh, america.com, aljazeera.com. So, uh, again, Al Jazeera America, the two-part ex expose airs on America Tonight, hosted by Joey Chin on Al Jazeera America. Check it out tonight and tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And, again, we'll have the website in the bit. Greg, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. I'm going to come back with more of this topic with my panel. All